we recently released an enhancement to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Networking Service that allows customers more control over their cloud networks and gives them ability to match their cloud environments to their on-prem environments. Today, I'm going to talk to you about secondary network interfaces or multiple VNX. There are several benefits of multiple network interfaces. First, we already support several OS versions on our platform like Oracle Linux, Ubuntu, CentOS, and Windows Server. But you may be running applications on an OS version that we do not support today. Now, you can configure KVM on our bare metal instances and launch guest VMs with each one connected to an isolated network. Here, you see a bare metal instance which has multiple guest VMs on it, and each guest VM has a network interface dedicated to itself. And this network interface can be connected to a network of its own. Secondly, you may need your instances to be connected to multiple networks. Think of an application which needs access to a production network, while it also needs access to a management network where you have functions like logging and monitoring. Now you can have two network interfaces, one connected to the production network and the other connected to your management network. Now let me show you how to attach a secondary VNIC to a compute instance. You can do this in console, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do that in CLI. First, let's identify the instance to which you want to add the secondary VNIC. I use this command to identify the instance ID of the compute instance to which I want to add the secondary VNIC. And this gives me the instance ID. Now, let me see how many VNICs it already has. For that, we already have a commandlet called list VNICs. And it should show currently one VNIC. Now, to add a secondary VNIC to this instance, we use a commandlet called attach VNIC. Let me show you how that commandlet looks. So it's in the compute space. You provide the instance ID and the subnet ID from which you want to add the secondary VNIC from. You also specify if you want a public IP or not, and you also give a hostname label. Once you hit this command, it'll take a few seconds for the, for the VNIC to be attached to the instance and being recognized by the OS running on that instance. Once that happens, you will see the command return and it will show all the parameters of that VNIC. Now, if you go back and list the VNICs on this instance, you will see two of them. There, we just saw how to add a second network interface to a compute instance. For more information on this feature, you can check out the resources below, including a link to our documentation and a white paper on bringing your own hypervisor with KVM.